All right, let's get more now from Roger Casale, who joins me from Rome. He is a former member of parliament from the Labour Party. Roger, what's your take on Boris Johnson ruling himself out, claiming he has enough support, but decided it's not the right thing to do? What do you make of all of that? Good morning. I think he's made the right decision. I think the wrong decision was to break off his holiday early and uh, fly back and stir the pot, because the consequence of him doing that is to aggravate the political divisions within the Conservative Party at a time when they will be wanting to unite around a new leader. What do you think of Rishi Sunak? He's now seen as the favourite to be Prime Minister. What are your thoughts on what sort of leader he would be if that comes to fruition? Well, one thing we know about Rishi Sunak is that he is competent. He was a competent chancellor. It's interesting that also that he's a Hindu. I, I, I think that should be commented on more. I think it would be good for Britain to have a Hindu prime minister, just as it's good for London to have a Muslim mayor. I think that that's, that, that's important. Today is Diwali. So I think he will get off to a good uh, start. But let's not underestimate how uh, big the, the economic challenge is that he faces at a time when uh, Liz Truss, his predecessor, has trashed the Conservative Party's record for economic uh, competence. Uh, and I think the uh, other legacy that we mustn't lose sight of is that nobody in the Conservative Party, neither Rishni Sunak nor anybody else, has yet articulated a clear vision for post-Brexit Britain. And it's that lack of a clear vision about how, what the economic model for Britain should be post-Brexit that is dividing the Conservative Party. It divided the country, of course, six years ago. But the Conservative Party remains divided over what an economic vision for Britain's future looks like. And I don't think Rishi Sunak can solve that by himself. He will need to unite the party and he inherits a divided party. What about Penny Mordaunt? Um, as our correspondent uh, Sarah Morris told us, there's about five hours left in the deadline, and so far the House of Commons leader is uh, far below the support that she needs. Do you think that she can pull it off, or do you think that it's looking fairly certain that Rishi Sunak will be the next Prime Minister? I think it would be very surprising if she pulls it off, because I think Conservative MPs' are, minds are being focused by fear the fear of losing their seats. If Rishi Sunak is not able to stabilize the pound, stabilize the markets, uh, lead the country out of the crisis that he inherits, there will have to be a general election. And the Conservatives are very unpopular at the moment. And so Penny Mordaunt, who is pushing her own case, who wants to get to the 100 nominations so that the leadership contest then moves to a, a, a phase where Conservative members are involved, I think she is finding that difficult because Conservative MPs probably haven't got the appetite for a contest. They want a coronation. They want to unite behind Rishi Sunak. Uh, and therefore, I think it will be very difficult for uh, Morden to get, the, to, get, to get to the 100. But we'll see. Um, it's been a year of surprises, and we may have another one in store today. But I, I'd be very surprised if she crosses the threshold. Yeah, it certainly has been a year of surprises indeed. Roger Casale joining us from Robe. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.